those days it wasn't really a special car. It was, we used to go to school with it, go shopping with it. It was our daily run around, so. I think the funniest memory of the sitting in the back seat and when the car pulls away, those cars actually thump. And the rear end actually drops heavy onto the road and in heavy gear, up to about third gear, if you're really pushing it, that's what it does. And I just remember sitting in the back because it's got no seat belts and um, just hopping on the seat as it got thumped every time into the, into the road as it pulled away. And that was my like, earliest experience of the car, you know, like very, very young. So that's just like one of my, I just something I remember, sitting in the back seat and getting thumped up and down as my, as my mother drove the car, my dad drove the car. And the drive is just, you know, you can drive it placidly around and you just enjoy the drive. And then there's other days where you can, you know, literally hammer it and just have fun with the car. It was what it was built for in the beginning. My name is Luis Malo, and this is a 1976 530ML. In the days they used to do 0-209.5 odd seconds, which today is like ultimate slow, but it's got a lot of torque, so you can be in most gears and it'll go. It's got the torque for it. A go drag five-speed dog leg, the gears are very short. So you've got quite a bit of changing to do, which is fine for a track but she'll come totally drive at 120 on a highway with no, with no problems. And I mean, yeah, we're pulling up a hill in fifth and she pulls all the way. And just the sound of that six cylinder, it's nothing like an M30. The main reason they had to build it is they had to build them so they could go race. So basically work back to front. Contacting BMW Germany, they got them to build the original race car. Uh, and then they done another one here and then built the road versions. So it came from what wins on, on Saturday, sells on Monday. And that's where it came from because you could basically watch a race at Kailami, see the 530 MLE win the races for the day and walk into the showroom on Monday morning and go buy one if they were still available. Um, they only built 105 and they sold 100 in the first year. And they had to sell 100 before they could race. So they were racing in the Star Production Saloon Race Series. The first three years they took the title. In the first year they took 15 wins out of 15 races. So it just showed what they came out with in that first, first year. BMW didn't really have any racing experience or any race cars prior to that. And um, their first, first year that they really started BMW team and they went out to win the season three years in a row. BMW had contacted me to build a 530. It was an honor to be asked to build it. But the car was bad. Um, when I initially saw that, you know, it wouldn't be my first choice for a restoration. It might have been a parts car, uh, but because it was going to BMW Museum, um, the money was there to really fix it. The floors were rusted, the pillars were rusted. We had to work do a lot of engineering on the engine and, and get it back to originality. Pressure was high, you know, everybody's waiting for this car, they want to see what it looks like. Um, they're going to check all the fine details, you know, the public's going to see it. So you've got to do something, you've got to build it right, and we were added to it properly. We were actually at some point said, look, we don't know if we're going to be able to rescue this chassis, but we got it right. One, it's, it's, it's a very special car, only a, you, know, you can only find them in South Africa. Um, BMW done their own thing in the 70s and 80s. Um, and it's the first time that a motorsport division in Germany actually got involved in building a race car for South Africa. So, yes, the world will dispute it's not the first M car, but um, if you go by dates, then it is the first car, even though it doesn't have an M badge. But the car created the, in South Africa, it's created the M uh, brand. This is our start of M in South Africa, which probably spread to the world, and that's where motorsport started becoming road as well, not just on the track. Um, and this is one of the first cars that got a lot of the stuff that you got on the track is exactly what's on the car. Um, so, yeah, this is, this, is, this is a special car.
Did you know that we also sell really awesome car themed merchandise? Check out our range of custom t-shirts and prints at our online store now. Simply click on the square box on your screen and we'll take you there or the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.